Hi, bass players. So this video is called Scale Skills, and we're going to walk through all of the scales that we should know after a year or two of playing the bass. So song number one is the D scale, the first one we usually learn. Our notes are D, open D, and then E, one finger on the D string. F sharp is four fingers on the D string. Open G, A, B, and then notice that we have this Roman numeral three right here. That means we have to shift into third position. Notice we have one, two, three, four tapes right here. We have first position, second position, third position, fourth position. Wherever your first finger is tells you what position you're in. First position is your first finger on the first tape. Second position is your first finger on the second tape. Third position is your first finger on the third tape. And fourth position is your first finger on the fourth tape, all the way up here. So in third position, our first finger should be here, right there. And we'll put our second finger down to play the note C sharp. And then we'll put our pinky down to play the note D right there. Then we come back down, C on this C sharp, a second finger. Then we see the Roman numeral one. We shift back to first position and then play our fourth finger for the B note. And then A, one, open G, four fingers on the D for the F sharp, one finger on the D for the E, and then open D. So that's our D major scale. Let's listen. Let's listen again and I will finger along on this bass. Next up is the G scale. The G scale starts on the G note, which is two fingers on the low E string. When it doesn't give a Roman numeral to start off like it, like it did over here, we just start in first position. So this one starts in first position with two fingers on our low E for the G note. Then we have our open A. Then we have a B note first finger. Then we have a C note, second finger, open D, first finger, then a pinky, fourth finger for the F sharp, and then our open G. And then we have our F sharp again, and then E, D, C, make sure it's a second finger, not a fourth finger, B, and then A, and then G, two fingers on the low E. Let's listen to the computer play it. And then we'll play it again, and I will finger along so you can see what it looks like. That was song number two, the G scale. Next up is the C scale. And it's gonna feel a lot like the G scale, but now we have to shift. So you'll see that right here, I'm going to add in a second position right there, because we will need to shift from first position to second position. And then right here, we'll be shifting back to 
first position on that note right there. So starting on two fingers on the A string, this is C, then we have open D, then we have E, then we have F, second finger. It is not an F sharp, it's an F, just two fingers. Open G, and then we have an A. Then we shift up to a B, right there on the second tape. I hope you can see that on the bass. And then we put our third finger down to play that C note, which is that next black tape right there. And then we come back to our first finger in second position on the G string, which is a B note. And then we shift back. You can see the row numeral one right there to here. That's the A note. Then we have our open G. Then we have our F, an E, then our D, and then our C. Let's listen to the computer play it. And then let's play it again and I will finger along. So that was song number three, our C major scale. Song number four is exactly like song number two. It's just different for my violin players. So when I tell the class to play song number four, we all play that. It'll just be different for them. Song number five is also the exact same thing as now song number three. It's just that my cello players have to, and my viola players have to go down to their low C string to get these notes but it's the same for us where we have to shift into second position and then come back to first position up on our G string. Moving on, song number six is gonna be a little bit different. Notice it says half position right there. So I've taught you first position, second position, third position, and fourth position, but half position is where your first finger is back almost to the nut that part but not quite you probably have a dot right there or you can find where your regular first finger goes and then find exactly in between that tape or wherever it goes and the nut and that is where half position starts so if we start in half position and we play on our a string we get this note that is the note B flat. Notice it's not B, but it's B flat. Our second finger will land on B, and our first finger goes there. So our B flat scale starts in half position, one finger down on our A string for the B flat note. Then we put four fingers down, and then our pinky actually lands where our second finger usually goes for the C. Notice it's the C note with our oh excuse me with our fourth finger. Go back. There it is. Our C note with our fourth finger. While in the past we played that same C note with our second finger, but that was in first position. Now we are in half position. So we have B flat. Then we have C. Then we have D. We're still in half position, even though it's an open string. And then this E flat is still in half position because this entire scale is in half position. And it's just one finger down on the D string for the E flat note. Not E natural, not E, but E flat. Then we have another four. And our open G. And then the a note with our second finger. Notice that it's the A note with our second finger while we usually play the A note with our first finger when we're in first position, but because we've shifted back, now all of our fingers are something different. So it's a two 
instead of a one. It is now a two instead of a one. So we're back here. We played open G. We put our second finger on A, and our fourth finger goes right there, where our two second finger usually lands. Now our pinky, our fourth finger will land right there. Then we just come down, two, open G, four on the D, we're still in half position, one on the D, open D, four on the A, one on the A. So it might be confusing at first, but I think this one feels really nice on the bass. We don't have to shift anywhere, and it's all ones, fours, and twos. If you ever want to play bass for the band, they use this key a whole lot. Uh, so let's listen to it. Here's the B-flat scale. And then let's do it again, and I will finger along. We're in half position. Our four goes where our two usually goes. Our two goes where our one usually goes, and our one goes in between where one usually goes and the nut right there. You probably have a dot right there. Uh, for the other instruments, we will call this a low one. So if we are ever in an orchestra class and uh, I or another teacher says to use a low one, for basses, that just means half position, just like that. Or to extend backwards from first position, but you can just shift back usually. Okay, so let's play an I will finger along. The B-flat scale, I, I like that one. So good news for the next song, the F scale, song number seven, it is the exact same thing as our B-flat scale, but now instead of starting on our A string with a low one, or in, in half position, sorry, now we just do the exact same pattern of fingers, but we start it on our E string. So we're in half position, we start with our first finger, and it's just one, four, zero, one, four, zero, two, four. And just like the B-flat scale, it might be confusing at first, but I think this one feels really nice in my hand as you get to know it. So let's walk through this. The first note is F which is in half position, a first finger on the low E string. Then we have a fourth finger for the G note. Open A, still in half position. Even though you're playing an open string, our position, our, our elbow, our shoulder, and our arm is all positioned in a way so that we're still ready to play half position. And then we have a, open A, and then we have B flat, which is low one, just like our last scale right there. Half position on the A string, sorry, not low one. And then four for the C note, open D, an E, not an E flat, but an E, and then a four for the F. Two for the E, open D, four for the C, one and half position for the B flat, open A, four and a half position on the low E string for the G note, and then our first finger on the E for our low F note, right there. Then let's listen to it. And then let's listen to it while I finger along. 
get ready, low one, sorry, half position on the E string. Making sure your first finger is exactly in between your first finger tape and your nut. That part is called the nut. We're exactly in between there. So that was song number seven, our F scale. Next up is our A scale. This one has a, a very small shift in it because as you can see, it doesn't say anything in the beginning. And that means we start in first position, regular first position. We're back home. But then we skip our open G string and head straight for the G sharp, which is right there. If you play in half position on the G string and you play your first finger, we get this note, which is G sharp. We could also call it A flat, but for the A scale, we have to call it G sharp. So let's walk through this scale note by note. Oh, whoops. So we have our open A. And then we have one finger for the B, four fingers for the C sharp, open D, one finger for the E, four fingers for the F sharp. Now here's where it's funny. We have a half position right here. So we go back to here and we play our first finger. That's the G sharp note. And then we can play A with two in the same way that we played our A with our second finger right here. You do the same thing right there. Then we just head back on down, G sharp with our first finger in half position. Notice the first position, we have to shift back up, put our first finger on that tape, play your fourth finger, and then keep coming down. Then E, D, and then over to the A string, four fingers for the C sharp, one finger for the B, open A. Yeah, way to go. And then let's listen to it. And then let's listen to it again, and I will finger along. Starting in first position with a small shift backwards once we get right there. Here we go. Ready? Shift. Shift. So good news, the next song, song number nine, is the exact same thing. I just call it a different name because it's higher for the violins. So I can tell the class, let's play song number nine, and it's different for the violins. And even more good news, song number 10 is the exact same thing as song number one, a regular D major scale. from first position to third position. And that covers all of the scales that we should be playing in orchestra within our first year or two, or in our private lessons. Uh, if you have any questions about anything at all, you can send me an email. And the link to this music is in the description. All right, uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you all very much. Happy practicing.